It's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel. And today we're going to talk about uh, what is coming up in July for the ADK channel. And of course, September, is, we also have some information. So we are launching ADK Presents. We are. So we have three shows uh, booked and we're working in conjunction with the 66 Bar in Cambridge, wonderful venue, uh, really very good for supporting grassroots music, uh, gives a great place for bands to come into and uh, put on great shows, uh, lots of different promoters working with them. Uh, so we're going to be kicking it off on the 18th of July with two bands that you may have heard of, plus a third, uh, which you may not have, but uh, there are, we have of course Telescribe, which will be headlining that night. Uh, with main support coming from Nomadic Ray. Uh, and of course we have uh, another band from the Bedfordshire Milton Keynes area called Debris, who are going to be our opening band for the evening. And yeah. they, they've done a few shows, uh, and again it was interesting putting this build together because of the... Um, it made sense with the elements of Doom that do appear in Telescribe, it made sense to have Nomadic uh, to uh, be our main support. And then of course Debris have got interesting elements of a bit of new metal, a bit gothic, kind grunge. of grunge in there, which again tied in quite nicely with the Telescribe vibe. Didn't they do um, one of the opening slots at last year's Metal for Masses? The non-competing they band? No, non yeah, Danny yeah. had them as um, up and coming, you know, yeah. new bands. Yeah, they're, good. Yeah. Them in the they're, yeah. they're, they're one of the few bands that I've sort of come across where I go, you know when you go, they may not be there now, but they have potential. Yeah, definitely. And good that was I always, I always sort of went, that needs working on that work, but if they really hone it in, they've got huge potential if they work on it. And that's yeah. why I was like, yeah, we want to have them on the bill. So we've got them 18th of July. Um, it's going to be five pounds in advance, 750 on the door for that show. Uh, we then got on the 25th of July, we've got Far From Refuge are doing a headline, which ties in nicely because they've got their new EP coming out, which we're going to cover later on the show. Um, we've got main support from them. Uh, we're going to have Extreme Death Art. Yes. And we also will be having Heroin on that build. Oh, wow. So we've got a nice free band build there Great that's going to be uh, really good. Uh, really looking forward to seeing them. And again, it's a, it's a build that makes sense. Um, and taking on this, this kind of role of doing ADK Presents has been really interesting because I understood, I couldn't quite understand sometimes when you go to gigs and you see some bands, you go, that makes complete sense. And then you see another band on the bill and you're like, why are they on that bill? Why have we yeah. got an extreme metal band on here with a grunge band? And then I realised when I started speaking to bands about playing gigs, they're like, oh, we can't do that show, we can't do this show, we can't do that. And you realise that actually trying to fill a bill out with like-minded bands is yeah. really, really difficult. <laughs> I think that second one excites me, certainly, Far From Refuge, because they could do that as the EP launch. Yeah. Uh, Heriwood, I'm friends with that band. I think they're a great bunch of guys, great band as well, fantastic live show. Mm. Um, and then who's the other one did you say that's um, Extreme Death Art oh wow and then you know we've got this Death Grind band that have a really crystal clear live sound surprise you can actually yeah. hear the blast beats and the and even the bass underneath the um, yeah they're, 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 did they play Stevenage Newtown they did, they did a little it's arts good. festival thing so there was an arts festival and it's one way to do it I suppose. Extreme Death <laughs> Art the name tells you everything played yeah. midday on a Saturday in Stevenage Newtown that is just insane. <laughs> that is. I mean, we, what we are going to be doing is obviously with each of these events, we're going to do a little bit of what we call the spotlight, ADK spotlight on. And each band that's playing on one of our uh, nights is going to have a spotlight video about them. So yeah. we're going to do some work on that. <laughs> and he's like, shit, okay, we've got, we got to get some stuff for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then obviously our, our main date now is the, we've got a Friday 27th of September uh, at the 6 6 Bar. And that will be headlined by our friends in Lowdown. Yep. With support from uh, Kent based band Struck Down. What are they uh, called? Struck Down. Okay. Uh, Groove Metal. I'll say Hardcore. Uh, groove Metal. Oh, okay. So, very, they've That's got so elements of metalcore in there, but very much like Groove Metalcore. Uh, below them, we're going to have Broken Calling, who came, were our main support for Telescribe. Oh, I like them, yeah. Yeah. You so your ex you, singer from Nothing Gain. So we have new metal, they're kind of a new metalcore type style band. Yeah. And then our opening band of the night will be Before the Sirens. Excellent. So again, a strong bill made up of groove and metalcore. I mean, before uh, before the Sirens could easily headline their own show. So I'm pleased that they 
are willing to participate. They yeah. won't see it as we're at the bottom. They're just they're just on a bill, aren't they? And for me, they're good enough to there, there is an element of decision making on that, which was it would be very easy. We've got uh, broken calling coming from Essex. We've got struck down coming from Kent. And if I put, I, I I'm sure bands won't always do it, but if you've got that sort of following, you've put them on earlier on the bill, and you put before the sirens are low down a headline in. Yeah. Will we have people legging it? Yeah, you've got to think about it. So that. having bookend in the Hertfordshire based bands either end makes yeah. a yeah. lot more sense for me. Doing and no putting the Kent based bands in uh, Kent and Essex in the middle. Uh, the fact that also we have uh, Dave Rubin from Lowdown is obviously based from Kent originally. That's yeah, where he moved yes. from. So yeah. he knows these bands. Struck Down and Broken Calling are also doing shows together anyway mm -hmm. at the moment in other venues, so it makes complete sense to bring these guys And, and Lowdown and Before the Sirens, Dave and Alan are good friends now, yeah. aren't they? And, and got I've done many shows together. You've got so. banter between them, which uh, sometimes you'll yeah. hear on camera on ADK shows. <laughs> exactly. And that, for me, this made complete sense to make that bill. Now, we haven't got an August bill at the moment. Uh, I am looking at that, and obviously we are looking at other venues, i.e. the Bedford Squires is another venue that will look to do ADK presents at a later date. Uh, possibly, if we get the August date, I'm looking at be maybe doing a classic metal night uh, with Millstone, Temper Saint, and with Millstone, that, that makes complete sense. So, what one of the things I've been doing with bands is I've been getting all the bands, listening to the bands, and then I've been going right. Well, that works with that band. That one works with that band, and trying to put bills together of who I would put. So, if I'm getting yeah. classic rock and finding all the classic rock guys and going, this makes sense. You all complement each other. So, I want you on the bill extreme guys I'm like right you're the extreme ones let's put you on a bill there's no point having crossovers and calling it a showcase event because no one gives a fuck about a showcase event yeah you wouldn't you were one before the sirens followed by extreme death art or vice versa would you? no it Lovely guy. Like they were lovely people. I love it, but yeah. you know, it's not going to draw, the, draw the crowd, is it? Yeah. See, I, I, eventually, I'd like. You know, we were joking about this, weren't we, off camera? And you're like, "No, we're not doing it, Kirk." And I I've seem, got enough to fucking. I do. seem to only interview sludge or post metal bands for our channel this year. So that, yes. So I'd love to do a, a night of just post really anguished post metal. Maybe bands. October. You can, maybe yeah. we can do an October. Under a night. crumbling moon, Urzar. Um, you know, somewhat, can you imagine if we get a massive headline in something like that? Well, I'll tell you <laughs> what, you can have a look at the October date um, <laughs> yeah. and you can decide that. But My, yeah, mine's basically just going to be post metal. <laughs> post metal stuff. Yeah, you can you can pay for the hire of the venue. The other thing mm. I am going to do with this ADK Presents, because I think it's really good for transparency, is to outline what costs are put into it, i.e., hire a venue, etc. So, people, when we do these reviews and talk about it, I want to I be really clear and go, well, this is what we paid, this is what tickets were sold. So this is how we made our money back if we did any promo. So there's no, for instance, a promotion campaign on something like Facebook. If I was to go and get the advert of a gig, put it on there, and put to put it out and get maybe a thousand people to see it, it's going to cost me like forty quid. Yeah, I've now got to sell eight more tickets to that gig to cover that cost. But the problem is most people won't see that thing and come to that show. It's very very difficult to sell out. Uh, now if you're having a, something like a large room of Bedford Squires, it might be worth doing it. In a smaller venue like the Six Six Bar, which has got a limited capacity, it's probably not. I could spend loads of money on promo, and if I sell out the whole Six Six Bar, I can maybe make my money back. Yeah. So it's not worth doing it that way. It's better to do it as local, doing it yourself, promoting as much as you can without spending money on promo campaigns. And then the idea being is we cover the cost of the venue higher, and then if there's free bands on the bill, it's any money that's made is split four ways. Free bands yeah. and the promoter. Now, so, I, that money for the pro isn't a payment for me. That money goes to help me pay for the next venue that, when we hire it. If it's a four-band bill, and I've worked out my costings, the way I justify it is, is it's £2.50 to see each band. Any less than that is the band is devaluing themselves, Yeah, in my opinion. So if I was to put a price on the door of four bands, it's ten pounds. Yeah, two pounds. Because you'll see two fifty each. If you pay in advance, Don't take, I, I reduce it. It's three for the price of or four for the price of three on the gotcha. door yeah. in advance. So you go to seven fifty or seven fifty for our show on the door or five pounds in advance. Because again, it's all about that. And what's killing me though about this is I keep seeing people posting up. Free gig, free gig. Stop fucking doing free gigs, guys. This is you're really damaging the live scene by doing that. Because that's the venue, though, isn't it? That's the promoter. So they're or really. It could be now. Usually, that may be yeah. that the venue is the promoter, and they're going to try and make their money at on the, the bar. Drinks. Yeah, that's it. They're but what that push means for the, the... is people are not going to go out if you never, you're not going to see Metallica go free gig. 
Well, they might do, but yeah, that would be a huge you probably publicity thing. Do you know what I'm just thinking about this? Can you imagine the thrash bill we could put together? Hell Grint must kill. Acts of Vengeance. There's some decent uh, yeah. thrash bands around here. Just like a thrash, thrash night. Being crazy. If I was doing something like that, I'd probably push that to the bit for this wise. Yeah, and do room two most, there. Most kill it after head. Just by. for the size of that. So there's, yeah. there's plenty of diff- there's plenty of options as for going forward. Um, but that's what we're working on. So uh, that's and hopefully going into 2025, that will obviously upscale. But it's uh, a lot of work to process this out <laughs> I have to be and, honest and, and we need to sit down and you need to tell me the division of labour what do I need to be doing behind the scenes as well because I'm new to <coughs> post on Facebook is that it oh okay <laughs> <laughs> well we, we've waited for you for two years to do that one, one of these days you will <laughs> I don't even know the password for a Facebook account <laughs> it's on your personal thing it doesn't, it's not, it's oh, not okay. all about oh, screen right. bars fucking repeats is it <laughs> right anyway if you enjoyed our video today please do like share and subscribe we'll see you on the video sometime very soon take care